there. Good to be with you. Welcome to Cruising with the Stars. Now, today, I've got what can only be described, really, or who can only be described, as a good old crooner. And we need crooners. And he's just finished his crooning album, haven't you? I have, yes. Yeah. It is. Andy yeah. Martin. Andy, great to have you with us today. Thank you. Thank you well, for having me on. You've, you've uh, finished your crooning album. How many songs have you got on it? There's 12 songs on it. Uh, yeah. Well, it's called Croon and Swoon. Yeah. Because, <laughs> um, to be honest, I don't really do crooning. I, I do the old, all the old-fashioned songs, but yeah. I don't... And to be first ventured into crooning properly, so I didn't know whether I'd really be able to croon. <laughs> so I did. I thought, I'm better off at love songs, yeah. as you'll find out later on yeah. when you play some of my songs. But uh, I thought, I'll just venture into one or two. Well, come on, what for you is the difference between singing a love song and being a crooner? Singing a love song is you get the music behind you and... You sing to the music. Yeah. Being a crooner is picking places in between the music. But I mean, Frank Sinatra was absolutely fantastic at it. Yeah. He could sing off the beat, yeah. before the beat, behind the beat, yeah. and never ever go wrong. Get it wrong. Uh, he was always there when he when he needed to be there. He was there, and then he'd go off on his own and and then. Yeah. Come back with so the for you, a crooner is more someone who can improvise around the music yeah. rather than singing straight. Yeah, yeah. A good old sing me, sing yeah. me an old fashioned <laughs> oh, song. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. So how long have you been at this business? How long have you been a professional? In and out for? of well, in and out of show business for thirty-two, thirty-three years. So you now. must be doing something right, must you? Uh, well, yeah. The old dog's got to do something, hasn't uh. it? <laughs> But uh, no, it's it all started off as a, as a, a band in a band really. But uh, I've recently only been about six years on my own. Right. Um, so what, how old were you when you sang your very very first song on your own? I mean, were you a little lad? Were you a teenager? Oh yeah, I was a baby when I was started oh. singing. As soon as I could walk. Well, I've been singing since ever since I can remember. Yeah. Since I could walk. Can you remember your first one where you were actually? in front of an audience, even if it's only a class, when you thought, whoa, I like this. Yes, it was um, in the Chester Town Hall. Ah, go away. In a competition with the uh, school choir. How old were you then? 13, right. 12, 13. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the stage in the town hall was like that. A slopey kept stage. Worried they would fall off, ah. <laughs> because <laughs> by this time, uh, by the time we went into the competitions, I was the lead soloist in the, in the choir. Yeah. So I had to stand at the front. Yeah. And I was flat. And I, I mean, I've never been the biggest in the world, but yeah. uh, I was only a little top then. And the teacher, I think the teacher felt sorry for me because ah. I was so small. Well, I just seemed to have this voice. And they only got into the choir because when I went into secondary school, I didn't like woodwork. Right. I didn't like metal work. Yeah. And the only two options were cookery and going in a choir. And so I knew I could sing choir. a bit, so I thought, yeah. I'll go in a choir and stand at the back. Yeah. And you know what the teachers are like. Now, the little ones come to the front uh. and, the, and the big ones go to the back. Yeah. And then I'd been in the choir for a while and I thought, oh, I quite enjoy this. So I, I started singing in there and yeah. the teacher obviously thought, oh, he can sing, pull yeah. him to the front a bit more. And eventually I ended up getting the, the lead. Getting solos. Getting isn't the it? lead solo. Well, let's have a look at where it all ended up. Because oh. I know you're a great fan of Frank Sinatra. So here's, oh, yeah. here's his, uh, his torch song, My Way.
There we go, Andy Martin there singing My Way. Where was that? That was in Chester. That was in Chester, Debbie, yeah. Um, Chester's Got Talent. Chester's Got Talent, yes. Hey. A few years ago. Yeah. Um, did, you, did you get anywhere with that one? I got through the semi-final. Oh, that's there was, good. To be honest, it, there was a bit of... I shouldn't say it really, but there was a bit of naughtiness going on and the girl's disc failed to work and so she sang without the disc and yeah. everybody felt sorry for her and, and she tried it again in the final. Oh, right. But uh, they caught on to her by then, oh, so right. they, they told her. Like, by the okay. way, Cruising with the Stars would like to say, we have nothing to do with that comment <laughs> <laughs> and we abdicate all responsibility. It's all him that my, said my it. My right. <laughs> But uh, Chester, lovely, lovely city. Beautiful. Have you, have you lived there most of your life? Yes, um, born and bred. Yeah. Uh, Chester area, um, but uh, like I say, we don't appreciate it. The people that live there don't appreciate Chester. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you, I go around entertaining people all the time and they come from different parts of the country. Yeah. And, and say I say, well, why do you want to, you know, people come from Cornwall yeah. to, to like Landudno and I go and entertain them in Landudno and yeah. I say, to, and where are you from? Oh, Chester. Oh, beautiful, we went there for the day out. And I yeah. think to myself, why have you come from Cornwall, which is the best part of England, I think, yeah. but personally, why have you come from Cornwall to go and look around Just Chester? don't let whoever's in charge of the Chester Tourist Board here no. be saying this. <laughs> I'll never get a job in Chester again. I was going to say, the girl that won the talent contest's now got him marked. <laughs> Chester <laughs> Tourist Board are after his blood. <laughs> That's it. So I'm not going back home. So, I, I tell you... But that, um, so that talent show, how long ago was that? 
2006, I think, right, 2007. Right, so it's a, it's a little while ago. So it, it well, was, we're going yeah. to take a quick break and then we're going to hear a few more up-to-date bits in just two minutes. See you oh. soon. Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm chatting to vocalist Andy Martin. So Andy, we've established that you were in the choir at school. So when you were at school, what were you training to be? What did your mum and dad and the school think that you'd be when you left eventually? My dad thought that I'd go into the steelworks with him. How would your dad was That in much yeah. that when I was 15, he got me a job yeah. at the steelworks yeah. and said, well, come on, son, if you want to live here, you've got to start... Earning. Earning a bit. Yeah. Which, which you did in them days. Absolutely, I mean. yeah. Um, and I, so I went to work at Summers's when the, the old shot and steel work was, yeah. was open. Um, did you enjoy it? I did, to be honest, yeah. That's it was, nice. uh, there was some good, I had some good friends there. Yeah. I went, the, my first day at school as an infant, I sat next to this young man, and, oh, young boy then. Yeah. And I, that's, I went all through school with him. What's his name? Well, his name was Michael Moulton, his name was. Mike Moulton. He's, he's passed away. Passed away he? now. Yeah. But, um, and the first day I went, Blake and Station was open then, yeah. Blake and Train Station was yeah. open then, to Shotton. Yeah. And the first day I went to Shotton, he was sitting there, and he'd got a job there Aww. as well. So it was great. And later on in the interview, I'll tell you how, when we talk about David Alexander, I'll tell you the little story oh, right, about him. lovely. I love the way he's elevated this show to an interview. It's just a bab, <laughs> really, isn't it? It's just a chat, you know, or whatever happens to come our way. Well, we're going to take a listen to uh, Andy singing another one of his songs now. Here he is with Love Is All. The games to play I thought I knew the way Life was Games of through All at once I have found just what makes this whole world turn around.
There we go. Love is all from Andy Martin, who just sang the whole thing, dripping hearts all over him then, because he's he's a he's a little romantic singer. Are oh, you a romantic in real life? Well, after starting work at Summers's, yeah, I used to go to a youth club in yeah. Blaken. Yeah. And I was 17. Yeah. And I saw this young lady in the youth club who was 16. Yeah. She's now my wife. Ah. And we've been together 42 years. Ah, that's sweet. And Andy Martin is not my real name. Right. Andy is my eldest son and Martin is my youngest son. Right. And they have been the luckiest things. My children and my wife have been the two best things that's ever happened to me. So Isn't that lovely? If you think that is romantic, Debbie, yes, I I'm romantic. Do. I think you're very romantic. Do you know what's lovely? You, you love and appreciate what you have, and that's yeah. a really attractive yeah. trait in a person. That's and to be honest, we've both worked very hard to get what we've got. Yeah. I can't say I've done it all on my own. Yeah. You know, she what brought the I kids up and Cynthia. Cynthia. She brought the kids up and she goes to work now and she likes to go on holiday and yeah. that's what you have to do if you, yeah. you want to do these so things. So you've got two boys? I've got two boys and a girl. Oh, right, a girl. And the girl has given me two absolutely beautiful grandchildren. Oh. One's 18, Yeah. one's 10. Right, how lovely. And I'm only 23. Of course you are, and that's only round the neck as well, yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, just my little joke. <laughs> do, do, the, um, do you spoil your grandkids rock? Oh, yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. He's a big Manchester United supporter. I shouldn't say it being yeah. in Liverpool, but he's a big Manchester United yeah. supporter and we, we try to spoil him as much as we can. And Absolutely. she wants to be a vet when she grows up. All so right. she already knows what she wants to do. Yeah, that's great. If you, if you, if you know what you want at an early age, that's super. Yeah, she already Tell wants me about to your first band, Deep Water. Because is that the first is that the first time that you actually started singing on stage with the band? Yes. Um, after I left school and and got married, and you're at the steelworks. I yeah. After I'd left school and got married and and started having my children, I thought, well, you, that's your singing career finished with now. Yeah. Forget it now. And I used to go to the local pub every now and again, and I walked in there this this night, and. <coughs> There was a few of my friends in there, and I thought, yeah, I'll go on. I won't sit with them. And little did I know that they were starting a band, and yeah. they needed a singer. Right. So they asked me if I, and I said, well, yeah, I used to do a bit of singing at one time. Oh, will you come and audition for us? Mm. And that is how I got into Deep Water. Right. And Deep Water, at the time, um, they had great chances of, of making things for themselves. Yeah. We passed auditions for Opportunity Knox right. and New Faces. Right. But two of the lads in there had good jobs. Yeah. And it's, as you know, you're in show business. You either take the chance. No, you've got to be in showbiz or... Or you don't take, take the, the chance. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And they wouldn't, they weren't prepared to take the chance, mm. so... Yeah. What yeah. sort of music did you do? Just you, just pop music. Just yeah. Nice pop music, you know, right. of the day, yeah. which was, which would have been late 70s. Right. 70s music, I love the 70s. Oh, Fantastic yeah, I love the 70s music. Well, yeah. listen, we're going to take another listen to you now. Here he is, Andy. Save the last dance for me. Dance, dance, every dance with the guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile, every smile for the man who held your hand beneath the pale blue light. But don't forget his change. Oh, I know, oh, I know, that the music yes, is fine, like sparkling oh, wine. Go yes, and have your fun. Oh, I know, laugh and sing. Yes, I know, but while we're oh, off, don't give your yes, heart to anyone. Oh, I know. Yes, I know. Don't forget who's taking you home, and then who's on to gonna be. So, darling, send the last dance for me. Dance, you can dance, go and carry on dance, till the night is gone, dance, and it's 
time you can dance, you can dance. If he asks, you can dance. If you're all you alone, can, can he walk you, you home? Dance. You must tell him no. You can Don't dance. Don't forget his oh. chance. There we go, Andy Martin, Save the Last Dance for Me. So with the Deep Water, the band, I know that you, you were still working at the Steelworks. Mm -hmm. When the band finished up, because two of them, you know, couldn't continue, what did you do? Did you, were you desperately rummaging around trying to find another band or what? No, it? no, I thought that was my singing career over again and went yeah. back to family life, bringing the children up. Because, mm. I mean, they were the priority, yeah. you know. Luckily, I was still working at full time. Yeah, you hadn't given your uh, job up. So I hadn't had that commitment. Yeah. Um, so I thought, well, go back to being a dad and yeah. back at the steelworks and that's yeah. mundane and you life. You enjoyed I mean, I missed it. Yeah. Um, but I didn't crave for it then. No. Um, so, uh, so you went back to... A life of being a dad and a worker for a time. Well, look, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with Andy after this. Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm chatting to singer Andy Martin. Andy, how did you get back into singing? Well, I started going on holiday with a, a, the young lady that uh, works at our health centre. Yeah. I know a husband, mm. uh, I didn't know she was his husband at the time, but yeah. I, I know a husband, Alan, who was a drummer. Yeah. Um, and we started going away on holiday. And we'd been going away for a couple of years now, and we were in um, Gran Canaria one day having a little... Not just you and Alan, the two wives no, the as two well. the two wives were there as well, but just me and Alan at the time were yeah. talking. And um, having a little snifter. And uh, he said, I'm, I'm fed up with the band that I'm in, and... Yeah. Uh, I've always worked. but he has always been into rock. Yeah. Whereas I was always into cabaret. Yeah. So we never ever thought of getting together. Yeah. So he said, I just want to kick at ca cabaret, like you yeah. know, the, the money's there. There's no money in rock anymore, going around the clubs. So I said, okay, well, let's get home and we'll see if we can put a band together. And he knew musicians. Yeah. So we got this band together and we decided that if we were gonna go out as a cabaret band, then we would do it properly. Yeah. We would be professional. We'd yeah. wear the black suits and the dicky bows and yeah. and it was it just really took off. Black Ice would used to do corporate events and and So it was a bit of an instant success. We really. yes and and we got um we got a lovely uh job in Malta for the Millennium. Yeah. For the big executives of Hitachi. Oh, wow, and that's it was a good corporate job to Absolutely get. fantastic. They, t they flew us out their Boxing Day. Yeah. And we stayed for the week yeah. uh, in St. George's, uh, five-star hotel. Yeah. We had all the facilities. And, and you thought, we've arrived. We've done it. We've that's arrived, it. yeah. And, uh, but like every band, you have your ups and downs, and we started disagreeing. and Yeah. And that was it. And then... And he got bent back to the mundane, yeah, looking after the these kids. <laughs> back to the steelworks. Back to the steelworks. I wish. Take, uh... I wasn't at the steelworks then. I was working yeah. at the gas board by All that right. time. Well, equally as exciting. Yeah. Really. I mean, you know, what can I say? <laughs> right, we're going to take a listen to you now singing uh, The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face. Ever I saw Stars. 
There we go, Andy Martin, the first time I ever saw your face. You actually, I was just um, noticing, a lot of viewers won't know this singer, David Alexander, mm -hmm. but a lot of them will know him. He was a bit, he always, sadly, he passed away quite a few years ago. Um, he was to always reminded me a little bit of a, a Tony Crane on the Mersey beat or, uh, or even, who was the one that did this, this way to Amarillo, what's his name? Tony, Tony Christie, Christie as well, the two Tonys. He always reminded me, he had a cracking voice, David Alexander. Mm. He had quite an, an influence on your singing, didn't he? Yes, very, very much so. And yet, while I was in the two bands, I'd never heard of him. Right. Never heard of him. So how come you heard of him? Well, the young lad that was re sitting on the railway station yeah. the day I went to, to, to Summers's, yeah. we eventually got made, made redundant. Yeah. And he was going out with a young lady whose mum and dad run a pub. Yeah. And they eventually got married and he got took over the pub. Yeah. And he phoned me up through not hearing from him for six, seven years. Yeah. He phoned me up out of the blue one day and said, Will you come and play darts for me yeah. in my new pub? How oh, So I said, Well I can't play darts. He yeah. said, I know, none of us can. Yeah. But we, we ju <laughs> just I just want to get yeah. So I went to play darts for him and there was a gentleman there. Who took brought his wife with him every yeah. day, and the first, the first thing she did yeah. every week, yeah. jukebox, the answer to everything right. by David Alexander. Right. And we used to practice till the other team came, and yeah. it got that way that I learnt the song. Mm. So when we were practicing with the darts one day, I was singing this song, and she said, "You sing it great. Why don't you?" Yeah. So that was your introduction. And that was my introduction to David, to David Alexander. Alexander. Well, we're going to take you listen to uh, a song now. I don't think this is a David Alexander, but we'll see if we can put one of those in later. Here you are with Working Man. 
It's a working man I am And I've been down on the ground And I swear to God if I ever see For any length of time I can hold it in my mind I never again will go down on the ground At the age of 16 years With my father close to as he vowed never again to send his son To the dark recess of the mind Where you age before your time And the cold dust lies heavy on your lungs It's a working man I am And I've been down on the ground And I swear to God if I ever see the sun Oh, for any length of time I can hold I pray to God that I'm still alive And the wheels above the mines no longer wide And they finally close the door Where for years we caught the cold And never again will we go down There we go, Andy Martin, and actually that was the David Alexander song, Working Man. Well, we'll be back with Andy in just two minutes. Hi there, welcome back. Now, just before we return to Andy, let me just show you this. If you would like a copy of this brochure, it's got all the answers to all the questions about cruising that you may have if you've never been on a cruise before. And lots of people watching this show. Uh, quite a number of our artists are actually, uh, they, they work on board the ships. And this gives you all the answers to things like tipping, health, food, what you do when you get off. Do you have to get off? How much are things like the uh, the excursions and all of that? It just gives you an indication as to uh, what to do on your first cruise. If you'd like a copy, you can either call us on 0871423444. If you do it that way, the calls will cost you 10p a minute from a BT landline and other mobiles and uh, other networks. They'll all vary a bit, as you know. Or you can do it entirely free of charge by getting in touch with us on www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. 
dot uk right back to andy martin now andy have you got a favorite song not really no no so, I, I just love i love just love all love songs yeah uh, especially ones i can sing uh but i, I no i wouldn't say i've got a, well I, if i if i had a favorite song it would be um smoky robinson which and the miracles. Um, oh, she's going to kill me now, because <laughs> that was our song. And you've forgotten it. And I've forgotten <laughs> it. <laughs> These she's things. She's not happen. watching this program, yeah. uh, Oh, she she will be watching this. <laughs> You're going to you, you'll you'll get it when you get home. So, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Oh, Dan. Tears of a clown. Tears of a clown. I was just going Tears to. Tears of do, a clown. Do, 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 That's it, do, do, do. tears of a clown. Yeah, oh. that one. Yeah, she loves oh, me again now. now. <laughs> right, you'll be on rations for the oh, next year, yeah. won't you? <laughs> well, I could do with it, Debbie. <laughs> I wasn't talking about those sorts of rations, <laughs> oh, actually. Right. No, no, no. Well, what would be your greatest ambition? Because you've had a, you've had a nice sort of uncomplicated life, in a way, in that you've never had a burning desire from the way I read it, to sort of be in Las Vegas, your family has always come first. And you've always gone back to your job, family. It's a bit of singing, job, family, back to singing. Is there any unfulfilled ambition that you've got? Oh, I've always had ambitions. It's yeah. just that uh, it priority at it's the family. time was family. Yeah. I had to make sure that me, my family and my wife were, were all right. How lovely. Um, so my ambitions have had to be put on, on the back burner. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm the age I am now and I'm trying to make it yeah. something of my life. But I've always had this thought, I've always loved to think what, how I would get on if I played at London Palladium. Don't know why it's the London Palladium, because there's Possibly because much it's the bigger, most famous in There's London. much bigger studio uh, <laughs> yeah. theatres than that, but, yeah. but it's always been the London Palladium. And I'd love to have, I don't, don't care if it's empty, yeah. I'd love to sing yeah. at the London Palladium. Oh, I'm sure I can arrange that for you. When I'd love to get on the cruise. When I'd it's love empty, to get on the cruise. Like, I've yeah. been on a few cruises yeah. with the wife, and, yeah. and I'd love to go on the cruises. I'd love to entertain on the cruise ships. Right. Um, and I think I'm a bit old to be part of the entertainment crew now, but guest entertainment would yeah. be... I'd love to have a go well, at guest never, entertainment. You never know, you're looking a bit city because the type of music you do for certain cruise liners um, and, and certain companies... It's just, it's nice, gentle, romantic um, singing, which yeah. would, I'm sure... I mean, I do do dance stuff as well, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's sure. all the 70s, 80s, yeah. you know, the drifters, stuff yeah. like that. It's not I'm all sure the sure. modern stuff yeah. that... Yeah, leave that to the young don't ones. Don't do any Kylie or anything No, like leave that to the young no ones. Lady I wouldn't Gaga. look nice in the short yeah. skirt anymore. Because <laughs> I've got hairy legs. Yeah. <laughs> so I wouldn't look nice oh, in the short skirt. You didn't always wax And I'm not those. having them waxed. <laughs> been there, done that. Well, oh dear, he's been there, done that. Oh, I charity, been there, done did that. You? Oh. I was, I was, go on, what, what charity did you get your legs waxed for? Uh, a couple of years back it was... Um, I did that heart foundation thing. Yeah. I do, I do lots of charity work. Go on, um, which bit of your leg did you get waxed? No, I don't really particularly that want to bit. say. Oh, right. <laughs> and that was the only bit. Uh, did it, so, you, so you were a chicken, you only had your oh, shin done. So how you women do it, I don't know. I, oh. Honestly, I couldn't. You're very brave. I've got every respect for you ladies, honestly. Well, I once very arranged, I, I mean, I have told obvious this, but I'm telling you, my husband to have his back waxed <laughs> and he was he was he was ill for a couple of days after oh aye, i can imagine yeah he yelped in pain it was absolutely fantastic to, to hear <laughs> she'd go Wah! and he'd go Wah! <laughs> but before, I, I, for, for unfortunately I had, a, I had to go in hospital last year and have an operation and it they had to take all the hair off me and off i'm quite chest. hairy on yeah. my chest but they gave me some lovely cream Yes. Oh, and it took it all off. It was absolutely Oh, so beautiful. you had creamy oh, hair removal. Oh, it was absolutely beautiful, it was. Oh. It took, I was like a, like a baby's bottom. Yes, but the trouble is you probably smelt like a baby's bottom yeah, for the next probably, hour. Yeah, yeah. it smells horrible. That's why she wouldn't come near me. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to take a listen to your last song now. Now, this is 
Uh, an upbeat one, because yes. you do mainly the nice, soft, gentle ones. Yeah. Here you are. Bit of Elvis, Andy Martin. Another Elvis. Uh, no, another. <laughs> Very good, Andy Martin there with a bit of suspicious mind. You tried twice then to get on your knee like Elvis, but your knees have given out. Oh, they? yeah. Yeah. Ye years ago. <laughs> I think it must have been the waxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another, another uh, favourite of mine, Elvis. Yeah. I, I like Elvis. Oh, I love Elvis. Absolutely brilliant. Well, it's been great having you on today. I mean, you see, 
This is you've not done TV before, have you? No, no, it's first so venture. I hope it's not me last. Oh, it won't be. No, you're very good. <laughs> have you enjoyed it? I really, really have. Yeah, yeah. I watch this program every day. Yeah. And it's I never ever thought I'd get on here. Well, you're on it, I'm and on now it. you're going to get off it and shake my hand because it's yes. the end. Brilliant. Andy Martin, <laughs> and from me, take care. See you next time.